Muslims make up only 2.3% of Cambodia's population, but voices within the Islamic community insist that it is growing. And while most converts have been brought to Islam through marriage, there's at least one village where the religion has taken hold on its own merits. In Kwan village in Kampong Spu province, 65-year-old Abdul Omid leads a group of men and women down a dusty road to noon prayers. Inside, the mosque is simple, four white walls, hand woven prayer rugs, and a makeshift curtain to separate the women from the men. With toddlers and reporters present, the mood is informal. The small group of villagers make their prayers, then return to the hubbub on the outside. The small building with its gold dome is quite new, funded by money sent from a Saudi Arabian donor in 2014, Amit explained. The Saudi connection blossomed from a social media video campaign overseen by the Cambodia Muslim Media Center, CAM, according to the villagers. They saw our village on social media, Amit said. Since, many different countries have come to visit with support and donations, Indonesia, France, the United States. The video attracted this kind of attention because the mosque, and the village, neither of which are CAM, to be clear, are unique. Almost all of the 52 families living in the community are Khmer Buddhist converts to Islam, Amit claims. Going with the wife in Cambodia, there are 884 mosques and 314 Islamic schools, according to figures from the Ministry of Cults and Religion. The ministry registers numbers of buildings, and people 361,483. There are, however, no records on conversion. Still, conversion is much more common than people imagine, and much more common than people say, according to E. Michael Stock, an anthropologist who has worked with Cambodia's Chan community since 2000. But the mosque in Kwan village breaks with the usual mold. That's because the most frequent reason for conversion is marriage, explained Farina So, a researcher at DC Cam who manages the Cham Oral History Project. In order to marry a Muslim, you must become Muslim. Buddhism has no such restrictions. Kams are even more matrilical than Cambodians, so that basically means when you marry, the man goes with the wife, Stock said. As a result, most new converts who enter mosques in Cambodia are men. Soz Mosan, Secretary of State at the Ministry of Cults and Religion and the head of the Cambodian Muslim Association, said that the number of Muslims in the kingdom is growing village by village, and conceded that sometimes conversion through marriage is a factor. But, he adds, mosques will be built wherever interested Muslims may go. Since the Khmer Rouge regime, there have been 500 mosques built, he said. Whenever we have Muslim people, we build for them because we want them to pray in a good place. Some of these mosques are funded with money from abroad, Kuwait or Saudi Arabia, for example. But mosques funded by Cambodian Muslims who migrate abroad and send money back, from Thailand, South Korea or Malaysia, are much more common. It's really a way of patronizing people. There's no difference between that and the Western money, Stock said. The new Muslim in town. When Abdul Amit, who was born a Cham, moved to Kwan village in 2001 and took up farming, his was the only Muslim family. He became friendly with other villagers, who first joined in celebrations following the fast of Ramadan. His family built a small wooden mosque. The Islamic community, Amit explained does not directly proselytize. We don't force them to believe, he said. But soon the conversions began. The Kwan villagers came to Islam slowly and of their own accord, often bringing their entire families along. For most of them, it had nothing to do with marriage, Amit said. One family met Amit while tending the fields, and spoke with him about Islam. Favidus, 30 and her husband decided to become Muslims a few years later. Content image, Nam Pen post a new mosque was constructed in Kwan village in 2014. Scott Rotzel. Her older sister, 
Sabaius, and mother, Zarius, converted soon afterward. Their children now study both Khmer and Arabic. Sometimes we understood only the words to pray, explained Sabaius. But we learned the rules step by step. It is not hard to understand the principles. A brief history of conversion Conversion to Islam in Cambodia has been occurring for centuries, likely beginning with the upriver migration of the Khmers from Kampa in search of trade and security. The most high-profile Khmer convert to Islam was a king, Riamethipadei, who ruled Cambodia during the 17th century, when the court was at Audong. While his motivations vary by source, the king either converted for political alliances with local Muslim expatriates or for a marriage to a Muslim girl, Riamith Pate became Ibrahim, and the court took on Malay influences, writes Dutch historian Karul Kirsten. According to Khmer and Dutch sources, the king demanded that his ministers, officials and royal servants also convert to Islam. There have been no Muslim kings in Cambodia since. Anthropologist D. Myko Stock has noted another interesting pattern in her research, conversion by those who were displaced under the Khmer Rouge regime and ended up residing in or near a Cham village. I met a very old woman once in Siem Reap. She would have been an adult during the war. She didn't have anybody left, so she just stayed in the village, Stock told Post Weekend. There was no difference between her and the other Khmers. Amit said that conversion was simple, to learn to pray five times a day and to acknowledge that Allah is the one true God is to be a true Muslim. Converts also acquire a Muslim name. But exchanging one set of beliefs for another is significant, and requires a change in practice at the very least, the prayer schedule, ritual purification, the foregoing of the idols so common in Buddhism. One of the members of the Khmer Muslim village is Ami Kulasim, an 83-year-old former Buddhist nun who was introduced to Islam three years ago by her niece and grandchildren in the village. My whole family now believes in Allah, she said. We get better blessings from him. The recently converted Nazi Saleh, the president of Kham, attributed the growth of the Cambodian Muslim community not to villages like the one in Kham Pong Spu, but rather to the younger generation. Cam, which is headquartered in Phnom Penh, offers a training program for new Muslims and provides online Khmer language materials for those who want to learn more about Islam. Those that post weekend spoke within and around the city had varied experiences, often associated with marriage or social institutions. Sari Fine married a Muslim woman when he was 19 years old, and he converted from Buddhism in order to become part of her family. He also changed his name. He says that, while he doesn't read Arabic, the mosque he attends on National Road 5 provides translation on each principle. It only took him about 30 or 40 days to learn those, he said. Content image, Nam Pen posts the village around her as Allah mosque is predominantly Cham. Scott Rotzel. I cannot be half Buddhist and half Muslim, Sari Fine said. But Rahani. A 21-year-old student and a volunteer at CAM, encountered Islam through friends after growing up in a Buddhist household. She now lives in a female Muslim dormitory and will finish her bachelor's degree in March. I moved when I converted. I changed. I now live in a Muslim community, doing good things, she explained. Across the Japanese bridge, at the Rasala Mosque on the Kroi Changvar Peninsula, a community of Cham Muslims has lived there since the early 20th century. The surrounding village can be transient. About 10 converts live in the village, said Lok Saleh, one of the Rasalam's religious leaders. Most of them are men who converted in order to marry. They often travel for business, not a single one was around on an afternoon last week. But sometimes, Lok Saleh said, he sees others like a guy who came to the mosque and didn't know how to pray like us or another man who came sporadically but had studied Islam intensely, he said. A pair of Buddhists converted last year, and Lopesla served as their teacher. As is custom, they must learn the rules, how to pray in Arabic, as well as possess a letter of agreement from a family member that they want to convert of their own accord. Some people are easy to teach and some people are hard to teach.
Leopsala said with a laugh. Sometimes it takes a day, sometimes a month. Living in relative harmony each of the members of the Islamic community post-weekend spoke with emphasized the remarkable religious pluralism that exists in the kingdom, a model for other countries, Nazizala said with a laugh. But the most prominent misconception in Cambodia, he said, is a conflation of the Cham ethnicity with Islam. There is a strong misunderstanding about race and religion here, he said. Content image, Nam Pan post Lopsale, at the Rasalam Mosque, teaches some of those who convert. Scott Rotzel. It's a misconception that is rooted linguistically in the centuries, in the late 15th century. Khmers used the generic term Kamjvra, a reference to Java, to refer to both Khmers and Malays collectively, or anyone practicing Islam in the kingdom, according to Kirsten, the historian. It's a conflation that the Quan village is defying. Saleh added that any outside fear of terrorism, however ill-founded, is minimal in the kingdom, citing Prime Minister Hun Sen's 2014 comment that no terrorism would be tolerated in Cambodia. Some charges of inter-religious enmity here arose in November when 24 Muslim schoolgirls were hospitalized after unknown men were said to have sprayed a poisonous substance into the house where they were staying in Bunknam province. The community, Tria Village, has a history of aisle.